Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron with Aaron Fixes Stuff. Today's project is going to be uh, repairing a void in a floorboard. So basically what's going on in this case, it's a laminate floorboard. And what happened is one of the boards is sagging because the concrete underneath has a void in it. So basically if this is a concrete because it's not leveled, when they put down the flooring, this one was floating and over time it just kind of sagged and fell down. It's sagging by about an eighth of an inch. Um, so I didn't find any YouTube videos that explain how to repair it. I did see a few videos. Some people recommended using this um, window and door foam. The issue with this window and door foam is that even when it dries, it's still, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's still flexible. So basically, if you have that void and you fill it up with that foam, when you step on it, it'll still sag. So we needed something that would harden so that when that void is filled, when you step on this board, um, it won't sag. So I am going to be using a tile adhesive um, to inject it into there. We're going to go over, take a look kind of at the, the issue, um, and then I'll show the tools that I'm using and how I'm going to do uh, the repair. So let's get started. All right, so hopefully you can see it well through the camera, but this seam over here is even, and over here is our problem area. And if you take a look, you can see how this board is just sagging by about an eighth of an inch. So it's not much, but it's still sagging. And when you step on it, it kind of creaks. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill underneath this board to get it up. So the first thing I did off camera is I used a vacuum cleaner to vacuum this seam over here uh, just because it's been that way for a while and stuff has gotten kind of stuck and wedged uh, in that gap. And if I don't vacuum it when I try to lift it, it'll just catch due to the uh, debris in here. So the first thing I did was I vacuumed it. Uh, next, we're gonna get to repairing it. All right, so I just switched angles to work more efficiently but over here is our board that's sagging. All right, so the nice thing about this repair is you don't need too many tools. What we're gonna need is, so I'm using a tile adhesive because we know that it's gonna dry and it's gonna dry hard. Um, next, we're gonna use a syringe to basically inject it into there. I got a medical syringe that has a little bit of an angle um, so that I can kind of stick it in um, and then shoot it to come kind of back in a little bit this way. Um, but a regular syringe will do as well, but I just use this one. Next, we're gonna need a drill bit. Uh, depending on the size of your syringe is the drill bit you're gonna use. Some painter's tape. Um, the reason I'm gonna use the painter's tape is to prevent the, the um, adhesive from going everywhere. A drill, obviously, to drill the hole. And then a suction cup. And what I'm gonna do with the suction cup is I'm gonna put it on here and kind of lift up to help the adhesive go underneath the floorboard. So let's get started. Another thing that I'm noticing is it's also easier to just do this with your finger.
All right, so I hope you found this video to be helpful, um, educational, or at least entertaining. If you did um, find it helpful or enjoyed it, consider giving me a thumbs up or even subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. Uh, anything you would have done differently or anything you enjoyed or didn't enjoy about this video, any feedback is gladly appreciated. Um, as always, I appreciate your time and have a good day. Thanks.